Okay, finally out of there, and we are going to Sheraton. Let's check it out. Ooh, it looks lovely. Sheraton, the ageless village. Ooh. Looks so very peaceful. This must be Sheraton. What a pleasant little village. So, what business do you have here? We're, We're back, back, Soggy. Yeah. I wonder how everybody's doing. I'm sure they're fine. I hope. Yeah, you're probably right. Come on, let's go see Mom first. It's been a long time. We're gonna get to meet Mama Sagi. Hey, welcome home, Sagi. Thanks. So, have you gotten any faster at racing? You betcha. I'm as fast as a Kaplan now. You and me could race sometime, but I'd probably beat your pants off, just so you know. <laughs> oh my god, they're riding the Kaplans. That is so cute. Huh? Hey, Saki, where were you? It was lonely here without you. Gina was real blue for a while. She doesn't know how to let go. <laughs> There's a traveler from the Empire living in the village now. He arrived right after you left. He's been here a while. I guess if he got here when you left, that makes it about three years already. He's staying at the Elder's place. You should go say hello as a member of the village. Whoa, whoa. Someone from the Empire is living here? Mm. Well now, here's a new face. Are you a traveler? Pretty nice village, huh? Nothing but kids and old folks here. No conflict, no fighting, just a perfect peaceful place to stretch your wings and rest. Ah, that sounds so nice. Oh, what the hell? Trying to get to that. I think that's a child. Whoa, it's Saki! Welcome home! Thanks, how have you been? Great, I've been great, everyone's been great. Watch your soul, great. He's greater than he was before you left. All the others are great too. Oh, Gramps and Nana are great too. Who else is great? <laughs> oh, I, I, I hope everyone is doing great. Including you watching. I hope you're doing great. Today, weeding the storefront. Tomorrow, weeding the storefront. Hmm? Oh my, a traveler. Welcome to Sheraton. How nice of you to come such a long way to see our village. I run the local Magna shop. We just opened up, so the interior is still a mess, but our products are still top of the line. And here I am blocking the way in. You need something at the shop, right? Oh dear. Let me pick up a bit. Wait there just a moment. Ooh, looks like we can get some apples. Alright, come on in. Wait, let me get some apples. Oh, oh, I guess we can't this time. Interesting. Yeah, everything we got still looks pretty good, thankfully. Okay, let's see what she has for sale. Hello, Jiggle Mechanics. Come right on in. Le I don't think I have anything in my junk pile. Yeah, I don't I don't put anything in the junk pile. <gasps> Finally, we can redeem a coupon. Wow. Yes. What do we get? That was free stuff. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, we don't even need to buy anything anymore. That's amazing. Don't I have more coupons? I do! Oh my goodness. Let's do another one. <gasps> Ooh, some new stuff for Millie. Finally. Oh, we need some stuff for her bad. Wow, should I spend the last one here? I'ma do it. Ooh! A new sword. 
Thunderfish. Nice. Okay, let's see what you have for sale. Oh, I don't think we've seen this lightning club yet. And it's from Millie, too. <gasps> What's this? Oh, it's for everyone. Ooh, we do need another one of these, like, for sure. And these. <gasps> what? We don't have funds? Oh my goodness. How? Oh, okay. What can we upgrade? Ooh. I always forget you could do this. Oh, we need money to do it too, man. Gosh darn it. What should I sell? And it sucks because you could use those the cards I don't want. I could use them to trade them too. But I guess like there's some of the stuff that's we really don't need. Oh, how do you sell it? How do you sell how do you put it in the junk pile? How do you put it in the junk pile? I don't know. <gasps> I don't know how. Uh... Interesting. I don't know how. Huh. Okay, what did I just put away? I put away something. I think it was a helm. That's fine. Let's put these bandages in instead. Ooh. Okay, let's sort by user. Okay, Soggy. We are gonna probably switch one out. Ten. Ooh, yes. That blue one's gotta go. And Millie. We only have two for Millie. No, no, no. So we gotta get rid of one of each so we can put two more for Millie. Okay, here you go, Millie. Boom, boom, yeah. Okay, let's see. 20. Ooh, actually, this one's better. Oh no. Oof. Now we'll, we'll keep it like that. What about this, this freeze one? Yeah, we should put some that are that's good for everyone instead of just for one person. Oh no no. Oh gosh darn it. This is so difficult to do. Hmm. Sure. And this one too might as well. Let's see what else? What else do we want to put in? Guess that's it. How do we sell shit? Uh, interesting. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe from here. Huh. Oh crap. Oh man. What did I do? Oh, what was that? Ooh, what was that? Oh, I think it was this. Or not. What the hell did I just put away? Deck usage. What does that even mean? Oh, right. Okay. Um, what did I just accidentally put away? Frick. Oh, I think it was this. Oh, for sure. Well, I don't know how to throw away stuff, so we're just gonna... Never mind the shop. <laughs> Okay, let's go. Well, at least we got a- oh, I barely saw you, sir. No, she- now she is left thanks to your meddling. If you hadn't come along, this never would have happened. Oh, what did, what did we do? I don't know what we did. Okay. Hmm? What's the matter, Teak? Did the other boys make you cry again? <laughs> Why you took my heart and hit it? Oh, that naughty Wacho. 
But you know, Teague, big boys aren't supposed to cry over little things like that. <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, Gina, show me your wings again. That always makes me feel better. <sighs> what am I going to do with you? All right, take a good look. Hmm. Ooh, pretty. Oh, those are the best wings we've seen. Gorgeous. Look, Gina's wings. Just as pretty as always. Why can't we have wings like that? I mean, ours are nice too, so I just has nice wings. <laughs> Thanks, Gina! <laughs> I'm not ever gonna cry again! Well, that's wonderful. Especially if it's true. But I think I've heard that one before. Uh-huh. <laughs> Incredible. I never knew wings of the heart could be so beautiful. You just don't see people with wings like that. Not anywhere I know of. That's right. They're the best wings in the world. No one else's could touch them. <sighs> you got that right. Oh, you're Soggy. Soggy, it's really you. I haven't seen you in ages. Where did you get off to? Well, you look wonderful, and that's what matters. The older folk aren't doing bad themselves. You should go say hello later on. That is the plan. I'm here to say hello to everyone. But first, I am going to... Pray... To the... Baton Kaitos gods. And we have a charm! Finally! Yes, we can use the level 1 speed aura, whatever that means. Offer prayer, let's rise a class. Yes! Yay! We're now level 5. You may carry up to 5 decks with 60 cards in each deck. You may discard 3 cards at a time. Thank God. I wish we could discard 10. Have you anything else to confess? Can we rise some more? Oh, okay. That's fine. Uh, let's purchase auras. For Sagi? I don't even have enough money. Oh, I have. I can. One. Or should I save? I think I should save, but it's good to know, good to know. I can go back now. And I think I could put more cards in my deck now, right? I don't know, let me check. No, I can't, boo. That's fine. Um, okay, where should we go? Oh, what are these kids doing? Oh, the hair! Those clothes, it's gotta be soggy! Huh? What, you don't remember? It's Soggy from Gina's place. He left the village a few years back to go make some money. Hey, you're right. I guess I wasn't looking hard enough. You're back, Soggy. Welcome home. Thanks. But I can't believe you forgot me. Sorry, a lot's happened around here since you left. A creepy monster started showing up at the lake we all used to play at. 
after a while, we just decided you got eaten by the monster. <laughs> I'm glad you're not eaten, though. I'll make sure I tell everybody later that you're back. Goodness. Playing's a lot harder now, since we're not allowed to go down to the South Lake anymore. Ooh, I have a feeling we're gonna have to kill this monster. Sagi, welcome home. I saw you from a ways off. My, what a pretty girlfriend. You make a great couple. Are you off to introduce her to Gina? I'm rooting for you. Good luck. <gasps> so Gina's Sagi's mama? Of course. That's why she has the prettiest wings in the world. Oh god, Millie is not our girlfriend. No, 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 no. Not until she's a little more down to earth. Let's see. Ooh, what's this? The leaves have yellow, perhaps for lack of sun. The doctor can't save plants, it seems. Oh, okay, a doctor lives here. They're growing by leaps and bounds. Someone must take good care of them. This large tin bucket contains a heap of toys. Someone's called dibs on this wooden chest. Grandpa's has been inked on the lid. It looks like it's full of junk. Small cruets filled with spices make a row, each with a little name tag. Grandpa's. Everyone else's. <laughs> an unlabeled, an urn labeled savings is filled with loose change. It's actually pretty heavy. No, we don't need blaze. Thank you, though. Um, let's go up here. Peering at the ceiling, you notice signs of a leak. The vase must be to catch the rainwater. These tea leaves were made from steam thorn sprouts. The drink is popular even in the Empire. These fancy vases have been polished to a glimmering shine. A host of urns are set out, great and small, perhaps fired in the nearby kiln. The bed has been laid out on a, re on a reed mat. Such good ventilation must work wonders on sick folks. Okay, let's see what's going on here. I moved out of here from Sadal Su to marry the son of a doctor. Figured he'd be loaded, you know. Well, I get here and it turns out he's the son of a doctor way out in the boonies. I miss my ticket to luxury. But it's nice to be away from the hustle and bustle of the city. Now if my hubby would just get back from the lake in one piece, I'd have nothing to complain about. Uh-oh, I'm gonna have to save her hubby. Busy, busy. What I wouldn't give her a nice long bunny cat nap. That's the only doctor in the village, so everybody comes to us. And he's too generous. He never charges for checkups. I guess that's one reason everybody loves him so much. By the way, we're close today. We're seeing emergencies only. Oh my goodness, a free doctor. Doc is such a wonderful man. I come in every day for a checkup just as an excuse to see him. Truth be told, I don't hurt one bit. See, I'm fit as a fiddle. I love this village, but I've always wanted to try living somewhere else. I wonder if there's not a pretty town somewhere that's just right for me. Let's speak to the doctor. It's you, Sagi. I'm happy to see you in good health. Kilo, same as ever, I presume? Sagi, we were all laughing that you must have eloped, leaving without a word like that. Looked like we had the truth of it. <laughs> She's a lovely girl. I'm sure Gina will adore her. But anyway, Sagi, I have a favor to ask of you. Will you hear me out? Okay, sure. Anything for you, Doc. Oh, thank you. When I was young, I saw many a wonder while traveling from continent to continent. I faced terrible monsters, unearthed exotic plant life. It was a good experience for me. I became convinced that studying those life forms would one day be useful in developing new medicines. So I started carrying around a field guide, jotting down everything I saw during my journeys. I searched the house for it, thinking I'd pass it on to my son. I can't find it anywhere. I'm too old for adventures now. And even if I found the book my son left for the lake days ago and still hasn't returned. Thus, I would like to ask your help in making a new field guide. Here, take this to start out. Okay. 
It's an empty volume I've set up to look like my old one. Just fill in the spaces as you go along. When you've collected a fair bit of data, come on back to the house and I'll reward you accordingly. Anyway, you'll get a feel for it as you go along, I'm sure. Now then, off you go. I... okay. Uh, let's check out this field guide. Is it... Uh, oh, it's probably in my, like... Um... Quest Valuables? Field guide. A com... A compendium documenting the world's creatures, great and small, passed by the village doctor who lost the original guide. Okay. What are we supposed to do? We just fight stuff? So you should learn that perhaps you've noticed that field guide has been added to the gathering menu. The gathering menu? The gathering menu. Oh, okay, here it is. Field guide. Oh, yep. Okie dokie. Let's see. Interesting. Okay, 6% complete. Oh my gosh, so I guess just fighting them should fill up the guide. Okay, sounds good. Let's go. <laughs> I love this village. The kids are so full of life. There are plenty of folks who spend their whole lives right here and never think of leaving. Nobody tries to hoodwink you. Everybody works together. It's a great place to rest your bones. I can see that. It's very lovely. Mm, let's see. Why, hello, Saki. I didn't know you were back. And don't you look all grown up now? Time really changes a person, huh? I'll have to do my best not to start showing my own age. Sagi, you've come back! Where did you go off to without so much as a word? I was worried you'd become beast chow. Well, you do seem to be in one piece and I suppose you've had your fill of lectures. Alright, run along. Run along. Fire element. Sheets dyed with thorn flowers cover this bed. They say it's difficult to get this deep a color. Huh? There's something here. <gasps> a magna mix recipe. Oh my god. Let's check it out. How do I check it out? How do I check it out? Magna mix recipe. Oh, here they are. Oh, so just. Drinking water and drinking water. Shroom and shroom. Okay, too bad we only have one spark shroom right now. Oh my goodness. Good lord. What do we have right now? No, yeah. Can't, can't, can't. Okay. A lake boating ladybug crawls slowly across the floor. Where could it have gotten in from? Frying pan coated in oil has been set aside here. Oh, hello, Sagi. I haven't seen you in ages. Were you away somewhere? I'd love to sit and chat, but I have my hands full getting ready for dinner. Come by later and you can tell me all about your adventures, okay? Sure. This medicine is used as a dye. If you open it, close it, says the inscription on the bottle. Oh, there's something here! <gasps> Another Magna Mix recipe? Goodness! Oh, fire and fire! Okay. I'm sure flame and flame will make a blaze. Lamps of all shapes and sizes have been lined up in a row. Oh, well, look at that. But I think I only have space for one. Uh, yeah, no, we're good. It can wait. It can wait. Saggy, my boy, I know that look. Your face is brimming with curiosity about grey thorns. No, no, there's no need to be shy about it. It's perfectly normal for a lad your age to experience strange new feelings towards grey thorns. What other creature can adapt to such a wide variety of cities and climes? I've discovered that these remarkable beings possess an unusual power. 
I'm still researching it right now, but I should be able to share my results very soon. Sagi, drop by again later on. I'll give you a chance to witness a true biological wonder. The gray thorns, the little whales that, that make the, up the big whale at the end of the first game. Ah, I haven't seen any gray thorns here. Ah, Sagi, you return. Ah, nice to see you looking so well. The village has been much quieter since you left. I can't tell if I'm happy or sad to think you'll be tearing up the neighborhood yet again. I'm sorry. That is exactly what's going to happen. The briars have begun to creep into the room's interior. Yikes, how long before this whole room's covered in thorns? I'm no kidding. Water steep from with with thorn flowers fills these urns to the brim. Salty water? No, we're okay. We already have some. No, we're okay. Oh, gods of ages past, please use your power to keep us villagers safe from harm. Good luck. Good luck, girl. Just stare, stare at, at the, the ground. ground. Go, Go see Jean and let her know you're safe. safe. Yeah. What is it now, Teak? Are you hungry? This had better not be another ploy to see my wings. Uh, hi, Mom. I'm home. <gasps> Soggy. Mom! I'm home, Mom! I've come back! Aww. Yes, I can see that. Welcome home, Soggy. I see. So you've been working in Alfard. Yeah, and they gave me all this money as a stipend. Here, look. Take it. You could use the help, right? Thanks. I sure could. After all, I've got a house full of growing menaces here. We're strapped for just about everything. So, who is the young lady? Oh, this is Millie. We met her on the way here. She's traveling from Alfard. Nice to meet you, ma'am. I'm Milliard. I'm so sorry to impose on you like this. Don't be silly. It's no trouble. I'm delighted Soggy's brought such a lovely girl home with him. <laughs> She's, She's rotten, rotten on, on the inside. inside. <laughs> you tell her, Gilo. I'm right here. Oh, um, I saw you earlier in the square. Your wings of the heart are so pretty. No, you were watching? That Teak loves to see my wings. He stops crying on the spot. Soggy was the same way when he was little. Mom, don't tell her any weird stories. <laughs> All right, mister. I guess I'll go get supper ready then. Make yourself at home, <laughs> Milliard. No mind to Gilo. So, what do we do now? Well, I thought we could relax here for a little while. It's my first trip home in ages. Why rush to get everything planned out? Hey, Millie, you still haven't had a chance to look around the village, right? Come on, I'll give you the grand tour. Ew, the grand tour. See. Toys labeled with the children's names have been carefully put away on the shelf. Everyone is working together to tend this garden. Someone's planted a bunch of anue legumes. 
Everyone shares these bunk beds. Who sleeps where is determined by rotation, so that no one fights. Orphanage rules. It looks like there's something stuck under the pillow. Oh my god, nice. So this is an orphanage? She takes care of an orphanage? No wonder Soggy left to make money. Some wonky letters have been scrawled in crayon on a scrap of paper. Soggy, chic, one, yar, mf. What the heck? I can't read it. There's something here. Another Magna Mix recipe. Goodness, there's so many. <gasps> Stay of water. Okay. Now we know. <gasps> oh my. I'm gonna have this filled up in no time. What? Where is it? Oh. Oh, concap fruit. Okay. Ker smash! I'm the lake monster. If you don't start running, I'll bite your head off. Paper has been set out along with a whole spectrum of paints. This drawer is practically exploding with the children's clothes. Weeks of the kids' pocket money lies stashed in the corner of the shelf. Oh yeah, I used to hide all my money from chores here too. Actually, some of this probably is my money. The children's drawer drawings have been proudly hung on the wall. One of these is supposed to be mom, and one's supposed to be me. Hmm. <laughs> the kids' laundry sits in the hamper. The mud stains are incredible. I imagine so. The place setting at the end boasts the only clean place map. This is where you get to sit on your birthday. It was always a special thing. Everyone is working together to tend this garden. Someone's plants planted rolling radish radish sprouts. Blah, sprouts. One of these are a bit bigger. Don't get transplanted to the patch outside. Hey, Soggy. Your tummy's great. Could you run a quick errand for me? Um, sure. Could you go next door and ask if they could spare a bit of thorn flower nectar? Thanks. No problem, be right back. Okay, yeah. I could do that, why not? Thorn flower nectar. Soggy, what's this building? It's all falling apart. It's a ruined clock tower from a long time ago. Everybody here calls it the Briar Clock. The story goes that it was built back in the Age of the Gods. It's barely holding together. I guess you can't go in. No, too many thorns. But the kids dare each other to climb it all the time. You know, to see who's braver. You, you used, used to, to climb, climb it, it too. too. It, it was, was like, like a ritual. ritual. You'd, You'd go, go up, up all by yourself. yourself. Not, Not even sunset would bring you down. Gina, Gina used to get so worried. No kidding! I guess you're braver than I gave you credit for. Uh, it wasn't bravery. It's just climbing the briar clock helps me unwind. You, you should, should try, try it, Winch. Wench. A, a good, good climb, climb might bring out, out your demure, demure side, side, if you have one. I love that Gilo keeps calling her a wench. I'll pass, thanks. I wouldn't want the thorns to tear my clothes. Craven. <laughs> Who is? Cut it out, you two. Nah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Let's see, where do we get this nectar? Nope, not here. So maybe from this girl. No? I hope this is the right place. Maybe this isn't the right place. Oh, yes. None of the villagers who set out for the lake have come back. Our guest from the Empire said he was going to look for them, and now he's missing too. I just hope they're all safe wherever they are. 
I really want to help, but we've got to take care of a few other things first. Let's check back again later. What? Where do I get nectar then? Next door for nectar? There is no next door. Well, that was next door, but apparently... Oh! Oh, I, can, I see it now. I see it now. Dang, look at all these goodies. Ooh. It's over here then. Well, hello, Sagi. Here on an errand. Yep, sis wanted to know if you could spare a little thorn flower connector. Sure, just help yourself. You have something to put it in? Yes! Thanks! Ma'am! You're welcome, Sunny! <laughs> okay. That wasn't difficult. Here we go. Did you manage to get some thornflower nectar? Sure did. Thanks. Leave it to you, Sagi. I wish Watcho were half as helpful. You did me a big favor, so here, take this as a thank you. Oh, nice. And an element charm. Wow. Isn't that a pretty charm? If you hold that while you pray, I'm sure it will protect you. Thank you. I'll pray with it every day. Well, I'm happy that you're happy. If you want to pray, why not go to the church? Shoot for extra returns, know what I mean? Anyway, that can wait for now. It's a bit early, but let's go ahead and have supper. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, I wasn't... Oh, gosh. What the hell? <laughs> I wasn't done exploring. That was random. Soggy. Soggy, would you wake up? <sighs> Just a little longer. I'll be up before you can count to 50. Soggy, how long are you going to lie there? Your lady friend is already up and waiting. Uh, I'm up. <laughs> Sorry to keep you. Ah, did Soggy Woggy have a good sleep? Eh. That was so random. Did anything even change? Maybe it's just a little optional scene. Anyways, guys, this is a good place to stop this episode. We still have a little bit more to explore from here in Sheraton. And um, we still got on the right side a few people to talk to. And then I want to talk to Gina. And then see where we're supposed to go from there. I'm guessing we're going to have to help kill that monster since a bunch of the villagers went to go look at that lake. So that's probably what we're going to end up doing next. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give it a like, comment below your thoughts, share the video, and subscribe to this channel for more episodes into the series. Until the next one, you take a lot of care. Johnny!